Uh, I'm Mark Coots with Teva Corporation. I'm the owner and president of it. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about folder feeding. Uh, I've heard a lot of guys out there talking about it, saying, yeah, it works, no, it doesn't work. And I just wanted to kind of discuss maybe, you know, the, uh, the ins and outs on that sort of thing. So, yeah, foliar feeding can uh, work and it cannot work, you know. So for the guys that have experienced it and used it before and it hasn't worked, there's could be some factors going on there. So uh, you don't want to take foliar feeding and do it in the middle of the day, 95 degree heat and everything, because the pores of the plant are completely closed off and therefore they're not going to be opened up to take up nutrients or anything else. So if you're out there foliar feeding at 2 o'clock in the afternoon in full sunshine, then the chances of your foliar feeding being successful is definitely going to go way down. So let's say if you're 95 degrees and you got humidity of 70 or 80, yeah, I would probably tell you to save your money and don't go foliar feed during that time. That's why you hear here at Teva, we talk to you about either foliar spraying uh, early in the morning or late in the afternoon. And um, because that way the pores of the plants are open, it's not worried about losing that moisture in that, in that time and it's more success, uh, successful of taking those nutrients up and everything. The other thing is too, you know, when you're doing that, you want to use as least amount of water as possible in your foliar spraying because you're wanting it to stay on the foliage, you know, and stay there. So uh, that's something to think about too, just your rates that you're putting out there and things. Um, if you happen to catch a cloudy day and your humidity's down, then you could, you know, spray all day long if you wanted to. But you, you know, you want to catch days when it's cooler or mornings or things like that because it's going to be more successful. The other thing that you want to think about too is that um, the type of fertilizer or the type of nutrients that you're putting out there. If you're using a polyphosphate, if you guys remember the uh, talk we've had in the past about ortho versus poly, the plant can only take up the ortho form, you know, when you're foliar feeding it for sure. So if you're out there doing anything that's got polyphosphate in it and you're trying to up the phosphate levels in the plant, the chances are you're not going to get it in the plant because of it. It's just too big molecularly to fit into the plant. So that's where you need to make sure that you're using the right types of fertilizer. That's why you hear a lot about chelating agents, whatever it may be. That may be why we use products like CCAT so that we're trying to get things into the plant more efficiently. And one thing I should have mentioned early on, you know, does foliar feeding really work? Well, there's lots of data out there that if you do your foliar feeding properly, that it's eight to 30 times more efficient than spreading dry fertilizer. But you had to hear that part being properly done. So uh, obviously we can't do all our fertility through foliar spraying. We just don't have the time. But if we could, we'd be a lot more efficient with it. You know, that's why you see so much in the specialty crops. They do a lot of uh, foliar feeding, you know, on their crops because it's just more efficient than what it is by, you know, just broadcasting the dry out there and everything. So it's something to think about when you're looking, you know, looking at doing some foliar feeding and things like that, that you really want to keep in mind, you know, the temperatures, the humidity, uh, the types of product that you're using and things like that out there. Another thing is I've heard, um, well, will it make my plant lazy? Will it not want to take up uh, nutrients out of the soil if I start, you know, foliar feeding or anything? So I've got kind of an analogy to think about. So think about an eagle. An eagle will either kill its prey or it'll eat, you know, something that's already dead. So it wants to do the easiest thing at the time. So if it sees something dead, an eagle is going to eat that. But it doesn't mean the eagle has forgotten how to kill something if there's nothing around for it to, to eat that's already dead. Our plants are very similar. They want to expend the least amount of energy to get what they're wanting. So if we foliar feed it this time and then it gets hungry again and it needs something else and we don't foliar feed it, then it's going to take it up out of the soil as long as it's in the soil for it to take up. So it's never, in my opinion, going to get to where it gets lazy because we're foliar feeding it, you know, and we're giving it spoon feeding it along at, at certain points in its life and everything. Now, I, granted, you might could say that on a legume crop. If you went out there and put nitrogen down early on, you could say, well, it kind of makes the plant lazy because it will not nodulate as much because it doesn't have to because it's already got the nitrogen in the soil to take up so it, it probably wouldn't so if you want to call that lazy that it, it could be uh, taken that way i guess but as far as p and k most of the time you know the plant is going to take up what it wants and when we're foliar feeding it it's not going to make it decide oh i don't remember how to take it up out of the soil anymore and not be efficient with it any more than it would have been 
the efficiency comes in, it just has to expend less energy, you know, taking up foliar spraying than, you know, and taking that in than it does through the soil. So it prefers that as, as in the studies, eight to 30 times more efficient. So just some food for thought, something to think about. Foliar feeding is a very good option if you've got deficiencies showing up or you're just trying to boost yields and things like that. Uh, so it's a great tool to have, but it just needs to be done properly in the proper timing. Thanks.